So this machine has been reported as having no power, not coming on, no lights, no nothing. So as you can see, all the power button in, nothing happening at all. So the first thing I'm going to check is we got power at the supply here. So this is a switch we can see with a voltage tester. We got power there. Turn it off. Nothing. Turn it back on. We got power. So that's fine. So the next thing you want to check is obviously the fuse in the plug. So I've pulled the machine out and underneath we have a socket, which you can see has got power. And then if we test the cable of the machine, we've got power, which means the fuse in the plug is okay. So we know we've got power coming down here and through the cable. So the next thing I'm going to check is where the cable goes through the machine here. Uh, the other side we've got the suppressor, which is a like a filter, um, and they are prone to fail. So we'll check that next. We take the lid off with these two screws here. So I got the screws out. But the important thing now is before I take the lid off, is to switch the power off, pull the plug out. And give the lid a tap back. And it'll lift off. Right, the lid is off and immediately I can see the problem. So like I said, the power cable comes through the back here and into this filter here. Now, straight away, you can see there's some burn marks here. We'll just go in a bit. There you go. Now look at that. Now what happens is when these suppressors fail, they cause overheating. And that's certainly what's happened here. So it's going to need a new suppressor and a new connector there and make good those cables. So that's the problem. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to fit the new suppressor and the new uh, connector. Okay, cheers guys.